drivers behind the line. Start in three, two, one, power up. With that, our first 15 seconds of autonomous mode, fighting Robo Vikings for the Red Alliance, score on the floor switch. Not to be outdone, 203 soup. 708 Hatter's score for the Blue Lions and 203 Superbot. They're able to capture the scale for the Blue Lions as drivers take control. That gives an approximately a 10 point edge. We've got one technical foul already on the Robotics for the Red Alliance. The scale is going to make a big difference in this match. We've got some incredible teams. Take a look, 203 Superbots are able to score another power cube for the Blue Alliance. Meanwhile, Dogma, they're cycling power cubes back for the Red Alliance, their human station. They want to get those boosts to help them out in their final score. Take a look right by the scale. That's 43-73. Robotics, they need to get just a little bit higher to score. They're accidentally helped out by Superbots. They're able to score the power cube for the Red Alliance. 2607 fighting Robo Vikings having a little bit of an issue. Our FTAs are taking a look at that. And just like that, they spring back to life. Just needed a moment to restart. With just over one minute remaining, Team 708, Hatters Robotics, cycling power cubes, grabbing it from the floor and bringing it back to their human player as well. Teams get one point per minute that they contain, that they can capture a scale or switch. Blue Alliance and Red Alliance racking up scores. With 30 seconds remaining, we're in endgame. Superbots try and score another power cube. They miss, but 2607 Fighting Robo Vikings are able to do so, leveling out the scale with 18 seconds remaining. Robotics is up. Can 1712 Dogma get the scale? Treacherous Superbots have seven seconds remaining. Robotics fall off. It's gonna be a fight to the second with two, one. The Blue Alliance takes...